Now, there's one other uh, advice I would like to ask you because there's many young couples and uh, society today is totally contrary to the marriage vows, to mm -hmm. the marriage covenant. Yeah. We Society say, rewards. Rewards, yes. Living together or not getting married. Um, that's the way society is right now, and that's a problem. Right, and there's also the financial stress yes. that is in, in today's society mm -hmm. that maybe wasn't 50, 60 years ago when the mother would stay home. What would you tell them? Well, the first thing that I would say is for them to learn that marriage was instituted by God. Mm -hmm. that it is a, a commitment for right. life that uh, it takes uh, um it takes dying to self, it takes right. forgiveness, it takes work. It's not easy. Being no. married is not easy, but it's not impossible to right. stay together. Right. So to persevere, mm -hmm. persevere in the relationship, um, make sure that you spend time together, you know, do the, the, the spiritual things and do the practical things to, to work in your marriage. So I want to encourage people to prove the critics wrong by being an example and testimony because a testimony will win over any argument anything yes. and, and I, I believe that the women listening they can develop that testimony maybe your marriage doesn't look like it should right now that, that marriage that you are in but it can look absolutely and I'm a living testimony of that because my relationship and my marriage was very different from yours um, even though my parents lived over 62 years married the devil came to attack my marriage and mm -hmm. for there to be divorce, even coming from a Christian home, yes, which was not your case. No, in my case, I come from a divorced family. Right. So I had seen a totally different mm -hmm. example than you saw. Right. God did an intervention in my life and put me in the middle of a very good family, my yeah. husband's family, who his parents are still married today, 60 something years, God bless them. And they were a very good example for him. Right. So I was able to overcome right. all of the things that I lived. So whether you have an example at home or you don't, there are other examples God that God will restore. use. God can restore. And right, and He will use other people if He's no respecter of persons. Yes. So some people think, well, your parents never got divorced. It doesn't mean the devil won't attack mm -hmm. you. And now that personal relationship with the man and the woman, remember mm -hmm. the way God created it. Yep. That sexual relationship, it's not just because it is a way to procreate, but it's a way to have intimacy. intimacy. Yes, people believe when, when they talk about the, the sexual relationship in a marriage, mm -hmm. they think that uh, intimacy just has to do with sex, but that's not all of it. Right. It's a part of it. Intimacy is sharing your thoughts, sharing your hopes and everything. But also we uh, as uh, married couples cannot neglect the sexual right. uh, component of, of the marriage. And when you see a happy uh, mother and father, the children will see that and yes. it will be a happy home. And uh, uh, having a healthy sexual relationship within marriage is a component that's super important. And you know, through intimacy, you know what I've learned? That you can impart. And I know that <laughs> I've learned this because, example, Zara in the Bible married to Abraham. She was unbelieving at the first, but mm -hmm. Abraham was the father of yes. faith. And she is mentioned as one of the great heroes of faith. So you see that there was an impartation. So through husband. that intimacy yeah. of becoming one, yes. you can receive all of these blessings. The same with curses though. That's why you can't sleep around. Yes. I have used that principle because the Holy Spirit it showed it to me mm -hmm. to impart to my husband what God had put in my heart, to impart faith, to impart love for God. But you do it intentionally. Everything in Christ, you do it in faith and you do it intentionally and you will see the results. And that is a wise woman, Amen. not a manipulating woman, <laughs> no. a wise woman. What happens is that you become closer together you in do. all things. And I don't know, More you, love. I'm, I'm sure that yes for you, because yeah. as years pass, we are getting closer together. Yes. We're more united yes. in everything. Now, I, this is a question and so many women have, especially the young women, so help them out. What age is the good age to get married? Well, I don't think we can say 
this age or that age. Okay. I think when a woman is mature, a woman and man, uh, uh, both, okay, when they're mature enough to get married. And okay. when are they mature? Well, when they are ready to sustain a house, mm -hmm. to be able to provide, to be okay. able to each of them fulfill the responsibilities that the Bible teaches a man and a woman should have. And uh, maybe one of the last things, uh, our time is running out, but this uh, Bible reference that says um, that God created them one, and then in our vows, we say, till death do us part. Absolutely. Some people don't want to go to that altar because they know that marriage is a lifetime commitment. Yes. Now, I know that scares people, yes. Sometimes but this is not a prison sentence. No, it's not a prison <laughs> sentence. It's a blessing. Our relationship with God is where everything comes and stems from. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I want to speak to those who are watching is your relationship with God is important. And if you don't have a relationship with God, we want to offer you to what the Bible offers. The Bible says that Jesus, the Son of God, came so that our relationship with God could be restored. We want to lead you in a simple prayer. And wherever you are, you don't have to close your eyes. But we do invite you, if you can, to not be distracted. So wherever you are right now, say, Father God, say it with me, Father God, I repent from my sins. I recognize I'm a sinner. My sin separates me from you. Say it, my sin separates me from you. Right now, I receive the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, your son. Through Him, I can have a relationship once again, restored relationship with you, Father. Thank you for sending Jesus. Say it, thank you for Jesus. I confess Him as my Lord, my Savior. I know He died in my place, yes, to die for my sins, but He rose again, and now He is with you, Father, interceding for me, for my marriage and for my family. And I receive that gift of eternal life today. Now we wanna pray for the, the families yes. that have broken relationships. Yeah, there are a lot of families that are struggling right now. Right. They have a uh, broken relationship, maybe between husband and wife. Maybe so because of finances for them. or heaven so knows So if why. that is you today mm -hmm. and in your family, you're struggling, maybe your relationship with your husband, with your children, with the extended family. Uh, maybe you do have a, a happy home, but you would like a, a blessing of God to person Mm -hmm. uh, this prayer is for you. So right there, where you are, receive this with faith because God wants to bring restoration. His idea was to form the family for them to be successful in mm -hmm. everything. So in the name of Jesus, I lift up your family right now. Mm -hmm. Whatever area you're struggling in, relationship, money, uh, it, it doesn't matter what it is. In the name of Jesus, I declare Father God, that now your mercy is extended to these families. I declare in the name of Jesus that restoration, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that need to forgive each other. And God wants to bring, to heal your heart. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. He wants to heal your heart right now. He wants to bring forgiveness between husband and wives, mm -hmm. between the rest of the family. And receive it right now, the love of God. Pour out over your family right now. Mm -hmm. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's mercy, for God's yes. love to come over your family, to restore any area that is broken, to give you the perseverance to continue on with your family and that for you to mm -hmm. experience what it is to have a strong, happy family. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. amen. Thank you for tuning in. I know God has spoken to you and we are so grateful that you are part of our family. We want to let you know that we're going to continue series on the family. The next topic is how to heal broken relationships between adult children and their parents. I know that is a big topic. So we want to continue to give you the word of God in a realistic way. Now you need to also come back and speak with us. How can you do that? Through comments. 
comment below. Let us know what you need to hear. And we'll be doing series to help you and bless you. Now, we also want you to share this series with all those people you know are struggling in their homes. So we're here for you. I am so grateful that you turned in. We'll see you next time. And I want to thank Teacher Letty for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. You're a blessing thank to me so and to the people of God. And we will see you next time. God bless you.